How's it going folks? My name's Marcus and welcome back to the channel. If you've not been here before, on this channel I talk about EDC, technology, and anything that can help me live a happier, balanced, more productive life. In this episode I'm going to do something a little bit different than I usually do. I'm going to do a studio run through of kind of the setup I have here. I'm in a 10 foot by 16 foot space that used to be my motorcycle garage. I like to work on old motorcycles. But when the pandemic hit, this very quickly needed to become a multi-use space for me. I need to have a space where I can work and get some real work done. I wanted to have a space that I could just chill out and read and meditate before work. I wanted to have a full time studio here where I could just press record to create content. I wanted to have a tool chest and everything set up in a corner and I also wanted to create a space where I can store my motorcycle at night time because I don't like that getting wet. So let's quickly run through all the things that I've set up in this very small 10 foot by 16 foot space to be able to create these videos. So as I said before the pandemic, this space was very much just my safe space. I like to work on motorcycles. I've got a old BMW, a 1979 BMW R80-7 and I actually restore that and renovate it on a different YouTube channel on a channel called Montmoto. I'll put a link in it here if you're interested. But this space was dedicated to that. I had a tool chest, I had a bench. This bench here that you see in front of me was for, I had a big vice here, was for working on motorcycles. But when the pandemic hit, I quickly realized I wasn't gonna be able to just keep this space as a motorcycle store. I was gonna to need to convert it into an office, a place where I can relax. I've got two small kids, a place that I can kind of get away and chill out a small bit, as well as being a place to store my motorcycles and create this content. So let's talk about this setup first. So you'll see this backdrop here. This is something that I've uh, set up. My, I've got a painting that my wife did. My wife is an artist. I've got her paintings throughout this uh, office here. If you're interested in any of those, they're on uh, Etsy. I can put a link below. But this backdrop, this is purely staged so that I can create this content. The most important thing for me about creating content is having high quality production, but being able to do it in a very short amount of time. I work a very demanding job in software development. I live here in Silicon Valley and I work a lot and I've also got two very young kids and I like spending time with them. So I really want to be able to, if I get an hour on a weekend or if I grab an hour during the week, I wanna be able to turn on some lights, turn on a microphone, hit record and create good content so that I can put it up on YouTube every week. I've set myself the goal of creating 52 videos in 52 weeks this year. Let's see if I can stick to it. So the setup that I have here is this bench and I built this bench myself. It cost me less than a hundred dollars. All it really is is four four by fours for legs, two by fours for crossbars, some brackets that I bought at Home Depot to put it together and a top sheet of five eighth inch thick plywood. What I've done is I've stained it to make it look a little bit fancier than it is. When it was used for motorcycles and repairs, I didn't have it stained, I didn't care about it, but I felt for these videos that I wanted it to have a more polished look. So I've stained the top of it, and that's the typical look you see in some of these thumbnails or in these videos. The really great thing about this bench is it needs to serve two purposes. One is for creating this content, and it's nice and deep for that. So in front of me, there's an Atom Mini. I've got a Rodecaster Pro. I've actually got a Mac, an M1 Mac on my desk here and a monitor so that I can actually do work here but I can create this content without you seeing any of that stuff. But the second thing is, I in a podcast, uh, me and a friend of mine, Rami, look up the Marcus and Rami podcast, I'll put a link to that there as well, uh, create content for a podcast and this is my setup for that podcast. So there's the times when we're working remote or that we're podcasting remote, and this is the setup, but Rami will often come up here and create, record the podcast here as well. And this bench is lovely and long for that, that Rami can sit across from me and that we can have a live hosted podcast. So this desk needs to be incredibly versatile to be able to shoot this type content, podcast po content, and be ready to go at any one time. So my setup, I've got an Aperture 200D light here, set up on a mini dome, which really disperses the light. The great thing about this light is it's good at lighting me up, but not my background, which is which is what I want for these kind of uh, moody, uh, high quality videos that I'm trying to create. I'm running a Rode NTG4 Plus uh, microphone, which is a condenser microphone. It's about six inches from my face here. You shouldn't be able to see it in the shot, but you should be able to get clear audio and having a microphone set up at that angle ready to go at any time helps me do that. 
I'm recording this video in on a Sony a7S Mark III using a 24 millimeter f1.4 lens, which means you should be getting that lovely blurred bokeh in the background, but I should be nice and crisp, particularly when I lean in to talk to you. Another thing out of shot is, you'll know from my videos that typically I've got a talking head, which is what I call my A roll, but I'll have my B roll videos as well. And for that, I've got a Sony RX100 Mark VII, which is doing my top down shots. So that when I talk to you here, you can see me front on, but when I hold up things like pen knives or EDC or even technology, you can see that nice and crisp in the RX100. And above that, I also have an LED light panel, which can help light up this desk. You should be able to see the difference here. If I turn on that panel, now we've got a top down light. This is not something I do for my A roll, but when I'm shooting that B roll, I'll turn that light on. It goes much lighter than that. That's on 40%. But that's my typical setup for these videos. Now, one of the best things about this space is actually my tool chest. And what's happened is I've moved from being, it just being a motorcycle garage where I work on motorcycles to this kind of hybrid environment is that this tool chest has actually become a tech tool chest. So on the top shelf, I've set up a charging station. So having all of these electronics all the time to create this content requires a lot of batteries, lots of different size things, you know, whether you're charging your microphone, batteries for cameras, batteries for lights. I've got two different types of Canon batteries. I've got two types of Sony batteries. All of those things are ready to go so I can just grab them, drop them in, and they're always charged when I'm ready to go. And that's been a massive time saver for me. All of my really expensive electronics are stored in that tool chest over there. I've got different drawers with different locks on them. And while it's not impossible to get into, it does slow things down and just give me a little bit more time uh, to maybe get the police here uh, or, or save some of these electronics if someone's a little bit more lazy about breaking in. So besides this studio setup and besides my hybrid tool and tech setup over here, and for anyone who's creating content, if you can get one of these tool chests, I highly recommend it because so much stuff fits in it, whether it's product, for product reviews, your technology, your cameras, your laptops, all of your peripherals, as well as tools so that you can get some stuff done. I can't recommend it enough to actually have one of these tool chests. The second thing is I've got the space over here, which is really kind of, it serves two purposes. It's the background for my calls. So things look professional when I'm on work calls, but it's a space where I can sit and read if I need to read an article or read some papers for work. It's also a space that I can sit and meditate before work. I like to sit and just take 10 minutes before I start the day to just think and do some breathing exercises. And that's a great space to do it. I need to have an alleyway through the middle of it where I can pull in a giant BMW R1250 GSA that I store in here at nighttime. So I wheel that out in the mornings and back in again in the evenings. So I need to have a corridor for that right in the middle. And then over in the other corners where I have my work desk. I'm powering my work desk. I've got the Apple M1 Max 14 inch MacBook Pro that just came out recently. It's an absolute beast. I have another video on that if you're interested in it. But from that, I do my video editing. I've got my speaker set up over there. I've got my microphone set up and I've got another Canon EOS R6. So instead of just running a webcam on my work calls, I like to try and be a little bit more professional and have a really high quality uh, 4K input. And I'm running the Elgato 4K cam link in order to be able to run that uh, image from my uh, digital SLR into my computer. So I'll switch over to that now so you can see what it looks like from the other angle when I'm on work calls and talk through a little bit more about this office setup. Okay, and that's what this looks like. So here I am sitting at my desk and this is my usual kind of Zoom setup for work. I'm on 10 or 12 calls a day every day. Um, so for me, having a digital SLR, so I'm running the Canon EOS R6 here. I've got an RF to EF lens mount so that I can use an old style EF lens on this. This is a 24 millimeter F 1.4 EF lens and I love it. The thing I like about it most is it gives that blurred background um, so that it gives me a bit of separation between uh, the wall behind me and here, which is actually, there's only a 10 foot wide room, but it makes it seem much deeper because uh, of the lens that I'm using here. I'm using a Shure MV7. I bought this lens, even though you know I have the Shure SM7B for my podcast, I bought this for traveling or for if I'm doing voiceovers while I'm sitting at the computer here for some of the videos that I do. So having this microphone here, which is an XLR input, but also a mini USB, no, a micro USB, sort it out, sure. Why aren't you using USB-C on these? It's a USB-C to micro USB. Please switch that over in your future releases. But this is my setup on my desk here. I've got an LED panel pointing down to give me some contrast lighting. And I've got a desk lamp here that I can make myself as moody or not as I want to be. 
In the background, I've got some LED lights here, which I can change to any color I want, depending on how I feel. And in the winter months when I'm cold, I'll even put a little fire on in the TV in the background behind me. A little bit corny, but it does make me feel like I'm in a, a warmer, snugger environment than just sitting in my garage in my back garden. So this is my powerhouse desk setup. As I said, I do a lot of work here during the day and then in the evenings or if on the weekends and I'm doing some editing for videos, this is the exact same setup that I have. I've got two monitors here to give me the best possible sound and this is where I spend the majority of my time alive uh, in this small room here. And that's it for my tour of my 16 foot by 10 foot space. I hope you've enjoyed me going through my productivity workspace as well as the space that I get to relax and meditate and how having a studio that's set up and ready to go with a microphone and stand and all the things I need to be able to churn out videos as quickly as possible helps me be productive and hopefully enables me to do 52 videos this year. Hope you enjoyed this. Good luck.